Hey, what's up guys? It's Random Builds and Random Fun here, back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be installing this torque converter that I got off of Go Power Sports. It was $120. They're having a sale, but it seems like it's always $120. But, um, with the reason I bought the torque converter is because that centrifugal clutch uh, was basically junk for an off-road go-kart especially with these really large tires in the back 18 inches tall you definitely want to get a torque converter um, because you're not gonna have any acceleration and as I've found out you won't be able to go up any hills or go through any sand so and as you'll see in today's video um, when I'm going through sand it goes through it with basically no problem Whereas with the centrifugal clutch, it could barely go through it, and it would just bog down. So, let's get started by putting this torque converter together. Okay, so here's all you're given for your torque converter. You've got your belt, your idling pulley, and a brass bushing for the belt to ride on. And then, you've got your plate of course and then your other pulley for the belt to ride on and then you've got your plate with the spring on it that will tension on the belt and this is a cover for it which goes like that and then you have this little black metal piece which acts like a washer that'll go on the plate here and then this is a two inch bolt 5 sixteenths by 24 thread which holds that all together then of course you have your cover which you'll have to trim for the chain and I've already done that here and so to start you get your plate and then you mount it on there and you probably can't see this but the little oil filter or nozzle thing back there. Come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Right there. The orange part. You need to trim that so that the plate will fit in. And then you Okay. And then you put your plate on there and you have four bolts, one here, 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 and here. That you just bolt on. Then you got your spacers. And then one more spacer. Put it on there. Like so. And then we'll get right back to you putting on the rest of this. Alright, now for the idling pulley thingy-majigger. Whatever you want to call it. After you have your spacers on there. You just slide that right on. Like so. And then... Make sure you put your brass bushing on there, and if you, because if you don't, your belt's going to prematurely wear, because it won't be able to idle properly. Now, for this little metal thingy, not exactly sure what they call it, but this just holds this right here. Um, it's got, it's pre-keyed, and this one, on one side, it's circular all the way around, and then it has two flat sides. The flat sides need to be facing outwards away from the engine so you put that in like that and then you take this piece put it around there um wait forgot to do one thing you get your belt which it has two different sides one is angled the other one's flat put the angled one away from the engine so like this off. There we go, just like that. And now this piece with the two flat sides facing outwards, put that on there. And then this one, just like that. And then one of your last pieces, so this thing, the little cover. And the reason you want the flat side out is because of those two flats. That just catches it. So now just like just like that. 
And then you get this little black thing with your screw. Put that in there. Start threading it. And down real quick while I get this done. While I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you guys, um, it's going to rain pretty soon, so I'm going to get the video of me riding tomorrow, but of course it'll still be in this video. So, and then once you have this on, take your 13 millimeter wrench, get it on there, make sure this is tight. And then you want to just give her a couple of wax. Okay. That's a very good one. It's hard to do this with one hand, so. Uh, and what I found easiest instead is to, I have to set you down again, pull on the pull cord till it catches, and then tighten it down. Which I'll do right now. And that just makes it a lot tighter and easier. Okay. So now that's on tight. And then you want to make sure that it is riding um, with no wobble. So you just pull it and there's really no wobble in it. So that's good. So that's done, and now for the cover, which you have to cut out, like I said, for the chain, it just slides on, like so, and then you get two screws, or bolts, I guess, and put them in their designated spots. Then I'll get these two on, and then we'll take a ride. Okay? Alright, let's go.
Alright, so as you guys just saw with that ride there, uh, the torque converter, converter geez, made a huge difference with the amount of power that it output. Um, with the centrifugal clutch, as I said in the beginning of the video, it can't go through any of that sand or anything like that. So I would definitely recommend getting the torque converter from Go Power Sports. They make the best ones. Um, they're only $120 right now. So go check them out. Uh, what else can I say? New videos coming out on the motorized bike and the mini bike. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also go check out my Instagram account. It's Random Builds and Random Fun. Uh, I post usually daily pictures of a bunch of different stuff. Um, usually updates on go karts and mini bikes. So, yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.